Well, I'm here with our very own Katie Lee Joel, who's whipping up tasty meals for the family that is on the go, One Pot Wonders. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, before you talk about your One Pot Wonders, congratulations, you won at the first annual New York City Food Festival uh -huh. Best Burger. That's right, the Burger Bash. I was very excited. That's My the winner right Logan there. Logan County Hamburgers, and the recipe's on our website. Okay, what's the one secret? Because I know you didn't use a bun. <laughs> no, no bun. I used buttered white bread. So it's kind of like a grilled cheese with a hamburger in there. I love it. Okay, <laughs> so what are we making today? Today we're doing one pot wonders, and the name says it all. You're going to have a hearty home cooked meal all in one pot, so easy cleanup, which I love. Yes. So we're going to start with one of my childhood favorites, and that's chicken and dumplings. And so what I'm doing to make it quick and easy, I'm using a rotisserie chicken that I picked up at the supermarket. So Smart. just shred that. Okay. And I'm also using a biscuit mix. So this makes it a lot faster. So I'm going to put in a little garlic powder. Mm -hmm. Give that a stir. And some milk. And this just comes together into a batter, which we have over here. Okay. I'm going to let you help me with this in just a minute. All right. But first, I'm going to make this like a thick gravy. So it's just a couple tablespoons of flour. And you whisk that together. What was already in there? A little water. water. Okay. A little water, and it just goes right in. And this is going to make it nice and creamy and delicious. This is chicken broth okay. with a bay leaf and some thyme just to give it more flavor. Okay. So this just scoops right in there. That's all you got to oh, so do. The dumplings. the dumplings go right in. Okay. Just like that. And you mix in the chicken. Mm hmm. Just goes right in there, all in one pot. You got to love this. Yep and frozen vegetables. Oh, is that so, so simple? You're getting all of your vegetables, your protein, your carb, and all in one pot. And how long do you have to let this, this cook This is for? gonna cook for like 10 minutes. You just put the lid on, and we have the finish right here. Oh, that looks so, so good. I'll that spoon looks so one hard. out for you. Thank you. So yummy. Ah, oh, I love the way this tastes. I'm gonna put a little parsley on it just for some color. Thank you. And a fork. Okay, I'm gonna start bon trying this while you talk about the next one. <laughs> All right, one the next one I'm gonna move around you is Thai tofu curry. So don't turn your nose up at the tofu. I think I love even tofu. carnivores it's will like this. Culture. I love tofu. Yeah. I think it's delicious and it's so good for you. Mm. So this is a really great way to incorporate that into your diet. I use extra firm tofu. I've let it drain on a paper towel for about 20 minutes. That really helps it be nice and firm and set up. Okay. And I sauteed some and a little olive oil, and I took it out of the pan. Okay. So now, into the pan, coconut milk. I use light Yum. so that it's not as fattening. Right. And then some cilantro, lemongrass. Oh, it smells so good already. It smells so good. And you had a little oil in the... Yeah, I had a little oil in there. Okay. Some red curry paste. Okay. Right garlic. Time, so oh, okay. we're gonna throw it all. Lime juice, it all goes in there. Mm -hmm. And this is what it ends up looking like. You put spinach, red pepper, mushroom, onion. Delicious. Delicious. We got it right there. A couple other ones on the website. Quick skillet paella and an Italian style pot roast. Katie Lee Joel, I think it's time <laughs> for us to eat.